Hello and welcome to this edition of Draw It and Know It. I'm cartoonist and illustrator Dan Letha for the Ministry Reasons for Hope. And today we're going to have an art lesson edition. And it's a very, very unique and fun and popular animal because this is a step-by-step -step how to draw a platypus. So let's get going. All right, so today as usual, we're going to start drawing with our pencil. We're going to draw a pencil sketch first, and then we're going to ink over the top of it. So have your, your black pen marker or whatever it is that you're going to make your black lines with. But first, we're going to start out with a pencil line. We're going to draw a circle right about here on your paper. And then that circle is the head. We're going to draw a line that's kind of the backbone for the platypus and shows us the curve of the body. And then we're going to draw another part of an oval attached to the head. And then back there, that's the tail. We're going to draw, using that guideline, that spine line, we're going to draw a curvy line right around there, and that's the tail of the platypus. Very unique animal that has lots of fun parts. And now that's the, uh, the front leg line and the other front leg line. And then we're going to draw another line for the back leg. Now the fourth leg is kind of hidden back in back of the body there, so we're not going to draw that one. We're going to draw some circles here for the, the front uh, feet of the platypus. We're going to draw another shape for the the back fin kind of web, not a fin, but a web foot for the platypus. Now we're going to draw the bill. So we're going to draw a line across the top and then we're going to draw a, a curvy line here and then a little line down for the end of the bill of the platypus. And then we're going to draw a curvy line around here and then another curve and then connect those two. And so that's the basic shape for the bill. We're gonna draw a line there for the mouth of the platypus and then curve right there for kind of like a little cheek part of the bill. And then the eye, we're gonna sketch in an eye right about here, so make a little oval there. And then I think this, oh, those few lines are our basic shapes for the platypus. Now we're gonna get our pen out. We're gonna start, start drawing the black lines for the platypus. And I'm going to start inking right on the bill. We're going to go up on this line right here and then we're going to go over. It's got kind of got this fun f shape on its forehead sort of an area. Go down and then we're going to draw the, the kind of the top lip of the uh, of the bill and it goes around and then we draw the mouth and then that little cheek part right there. And then we're going to draw the, the bottom part of the bill, which goes right there. We're going to talk about that bill in a little while when I'm doing the coloring. All right, and now we're going to draw some jaggy lines because the, the platypus has fur on it. And so we're going to draw some fur, make that fun fur, kind of fun jaggy kind of zigzag line a little bit for the fur on a platypus. All right, and then we're going to draw the front leg right there, the front of the front leg, and then we're going to draw some furry part right there underneath the bottom of the front leg and then zip down there. And then we're going to follow the, the that basic line shape, that circle line around a little bit and make a kind of a unique foot shape like that. So that's the, the, the front foot and then the front foot has some claws. We're going to draw five of them. So there's one claw. We're going to draw number two claw right there. And then number three, get your spacing of these correct. So we've got to fit five of them on there. And number four and number five right there. Okay. And then the platypus swims underwater. And so he needs some tools to do that. God gave the platypus some webbing. So we're going to draw that web part. It goes right around here. There we go. So that's the web for the front foot to help the, the platypus swim really well. And then the other foot, we're going to draw the wrist part, the wrist lines right about here. And then we're going to draw, again, that kind of, we're going to sort of wander around a little bit, that, that basic shape that we drew earlier. And that's the, the webbing part. And then the claws just kind of show through the bottom of that foot. So we're going to draw one claw. And then number two claw, then number three claw right here. 
and then number four claw right there, and then number five. All right, so that's the bottom of that front foot over there. And then the belly line, we're gonna draw some more jig zigzag for the for the fun fur of the platypus. And then the back leg, we're gonna draw a line that goes, that kind of follows that back leg line, just a little wider, some fur, and then wide at this this part and then closer to where the, the ankle part of the, the platypus is. And then we're gonna draw the, the spur right there for the platypus. We're gonna talk about that spur in a little while. Interesting part of the platypus. And then this is the webbing part of the back foot for the platypus. And so it's got kind of a, a shaped, a, a, a wide shaped foot like that. And then another claw that sticks out at the bottom and the Webbing works a little bit different on the back foot for the platypus. So there's five claws there. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna draw some lines that kind of indicate the uh, the toes for the, the platypus right there. So those are done. And now we're gonna draw some more fur, and kind of figure out the, the back end of the, the platypus and then the, the back, some more jaggy lines for the back part right there. And then we've got that famous beaver-like tail of the platypus. And we'll follow that line kind of right around there. And we've got that tail. All right. Now what's left? Oh, we've got an eye. And so we draw the line around. We're going to add a little bit to it right at the end. So watch. We're going to go right there and then keep going. And then draw a line that goes off like that. Because if you look at the pictures, that's what the platypus eyes look like. All right, and then it's got a pupil with a reflection left in that eye right there. So there we go. So our nice, friendly looking platypus and its nostrils kind of go on the end of the bill right about there. Okay, so let's make those pencil lines go away. And I'm gonna get out my coloring tools in Photoshop and you do the same for your piece of paper or whatever you're coloring on. And I want to tell you about the platypus now that I'm making the outline shape so that I can add the color to the platypus and you can kind of follow my coloring as we go here. Now the platypus is a very in, uh, intriguing animal. It's very strange. It looks like it's made up of a bunch of pieces of parts of different animals. In fact, when it was discovered by some people that had traveled to Australia and that's where the, where the platypus lives, it lives on Australia and Tasmania. Uh, these people were from England, and they brought back some sample platypus, platypuses, because that's plural for platypuses, platypus. Um, and the people that they showed it to thought it was a fake animal. They thought it was a joke because it that couldn't possibly be real. It looks like it's got all these different animal parts. But it was real, and it is real, and it's a marvelous creation of our creator God. And... Um, the platypus lives to be about 12 years old. I think that's more in captivity than it uh, than it does in, out in the wild, but uh, 12 years old about. And it does have some predators when it's living out in the wild, and so it's got to be careful to avoid snakes and birds of prey, some eagles and owls and things like that, and some hawks. Uh, crocodiles, because there are crocodiles in the water in Australia, it's got to avoid those. And then there's some uh, some things called water rats that it also uh, has to avoid. But the um, the platypus is a, a predator, and so it likes to eat worms. It hunts for worms and shrimp and crayfish and anything that can find in the water, and that's where it likes to swim. Now the parts of the platypus are very very interesting. They look like again lots of different animal parts. The bill that I'm coloring right now it looks like a duck bill, but it's a little different color in color, but um, it looks like the bill of a duck, but it's the bill of a platypus, specially made for the for the platypus. It doesn't have any teeth. So someone could say, hey, that's kind of like a, like a duck. It doesn't have any teeth. Well, it actually uses gravel sometimes to take the place of teeth to, uh, to chew up its food a little bit or grind it. So that's what it uses sometimes when it needs to do that. It hunts underwater with its bill, so it's a very, very special and unique tool designed by God. This bill picks up electrical signals, which is very special. So when it, it zooms around underwater, it closes its eyes. It actually has ears that it closes too, so it can't see and can't hear, but it doesn't worry about that because 
this bill is like an electrical detector and it's zooming around underwater and it's finding those things that it likes to eat, worms and shrimp and crayfish. And those things send off a little electrical signal that the, the crayfish or the, the platypus can detect. And so when it picks it up, it goes over there and eats it up with its bill. Well, its tail, it's kind of like a beaver, but it's also used to store fat when the, when the platypus eats its food. Some of that food nutrition and such gets stored in its tail. Now, what's what kind of uh, animal lays eggs? Can you think of animals that lay eggs? Birds and some reptiles do, and, and all, there's all kinds of other animals that lay eggs too. The platypus is a mammal. It's called a monotreme. It belongs to that class of animals, and it lays eggs. And so it's got that quality. It's a very unique mammal. It lays eggs. Here's another different... Uh, quality too. Can you think of different animals that are venomous? I think of like rattlesnakes and scorpions and different animals like that that are poisonous. We think, ooh, we don't want us to. We, we want to stay away from, from those. The platypus has venom. That spur that's on the back of its foot. The males, the boy platypuses, have venom spurs, and so they use those sometimes for different things. And so you don't want to pick up a platypus because especially the male because it can sting you with its with its spur. Now, mammals are the only animals that feed their young with milk. And so that's what the the platypuses are, is they're mammals. The the female platypus feeds its young with milk. And those young have a very interesting name too. Um, they're called cubs. And so that sounds like a bear, but uh, the young platypus, baby platypuses are called cubs. Um, now, the platypus, I told you about something earlier that it doesn't have. It doesn't have any teeth. Well, there's something else that it doesn't have. It has lots of other animal parts like different animals, but it's missing a part that most animals have too. The platypus doesn't have a stomach. That's kind of strange, but God designed it that way, and so it, God knew that it didn't need a stomach, and, and so the platypus eats all the time to try to keep food coming in, and um, it is designed without a stomach. Very, very interesting. Now, the platypus also has claws. Can you think of other animals that have, have claws? Lots of different animals do, and so it has that quality with lots of different animals. It has claws. It has fur that's kind of like an otter. It also has webbed feet that's kind of like an otter, too, so it shares those qualities with that, that particular animal. So, it's kind of like God designed all kinds of other different animals. And then it's, and then he said, well, let's see, I think I'm going to make one animal that has all these different qualities. And so God made that, uh, the platypus kind of like a collection of different animal parts. And the funny thing about that is, is that people that don't believe in God have to try to explain not only the animals that are sort of what we think of as normal, but they have to try to explain animals like the platypus that looks like it's a collection of all kinds of different animals that we have on this earth. And so that kind of makes a real problem for evolutionists because how did that come to be? And they've got all kinds of different made up stories about how the, the platypus came to be, but we know that we have a intelligent and loving and very creative, maybe even has a, a well, God has a sense of humor too, and, and so all those qualities kind of went into the, the platypus. And I think um, God is, is kind of smiling when he sees people kind of scratch their heads and try to figure out how the platypus was made. So the next time you hear someone talk about how the platypus evolved, you can say, well, I know that the Bible says that God made animals. God is our creator. He made me and he made all the animals too. None of them are accidents. I'm not an accident. It's, a, it's a, an act by a loving creator that, that does exist, that is real, and that made all the things that we see around us. Even though there's some sad things that happen in this world because sin came in and, and ruined God's perfect creation, the beauty and all those things are still there. They're still kind of evident, even though, again, the world is, is ruined by sin. But our, our good and loving creator uh, provided a way to, uh, to be in a world that's without sin. Again, if you know Jesus Christ as your Savior, we have the hope of heaven. 
again, and that's going to be in a world that's perfect. So now here I'm drawing some water in for the background because our platypus is a great swimmer. Again, designed with all these tools that it needs to live well in the water. In fact, those nostrils on the top of its bill help it to breathe as it kind of pokes its nose up a little bit and doesn't have to give away where it is because a predator might be looking for it. It can kind of sneak around, get a breath of air, and then go back under the water and swim around. So I love platypuses. They're fantastic animals. Let's give glory to our God, our creator for creating the platypus. I hope you had fun drawing the platypus with me today, and I hope you'll join me next time on Draw It and